What if I told you that the difference between wasting thousands in ad spend and generating thousands of extra dollars could be as simple as optimizing your audience signals? In this video, you're going to learn how audience signals in Performance Max can unlock this potential. It's one of the few settings you actually have control over. When set up correctly, it can be an absolute game changer for Performance Max campaigns. Yet, most store owners overlook it, and that's why you could be leaving a lot of money on the table. After working with hundreds of e-commerce performance max campaigns, my team and I have seen it all. We've developed the most up-to-date strategies for performance max campaigns, and today I'm sharing them with you. Okay, so let's get into it. So what is an audience signal? Think of an audience signal as a starting point for Google's algorithm. When you start a new performance max campaign, Google has no idea who your customers are. Instead of showing your ad to random people, we tell Google an audience signal so Google can start somewhere and iterate from there. You can think of the audience as a list of people who share a common trait. Something like, they all like baseball. That would be an affinity audience because they all have an affinity for baseball. Another audience could be those people researching or planning to buy a baseball mitt. We call that an in-market audience because those people are in the market for that product. Another audience could be people between the ages of 18 and 34. This would be an audience based on demographics. And finally, there are a list of people who have interacted with your store, either as a visitor or a buyer. That would be a customer list based on your first party data. Now, the four examples that I just gave you make up the four types of audiences that go into an audience signal. So if you are selling baseball mitts, the following audience segments would make sense. In market for baseball equipment, affinity as baseball fans, demographic age 18 to 34, and a customer match list of all your past customers. Together, these segments create an audience signal that basically says to Google, these are the kinds of people who might be interested in what I'm offering. The AI then finds and targets similar audiences to show your ads to. It's important to note that audience signals are not strict targeting rules. To use our previous example, Google will test and show ads to people 35 and above. However, you've given them a starting point to initially target people age 18 to 34. This gives AI the flexibility to find new and valuable audiences over time. That is one of the fundamental strengths of Performance Max. I hope this video helped you learn about audience signals and how they help to boost your Performance Max campaigns. If you're still looking to refine your audience signals or take your Performance Max campaigns to the next level, we actually created a space to help you with that. It's called the Keycom Academy. It's where my team and I help e-commerce store owners like yourself get unstuck with your campaigns. We host weekly live calls and Q and A's to help you get unstuck. And we're offering courses on everything, Google ads, meta ads, and e-commerce in general. But honestly, the best part is the community. It's full of honest store owners like yourself, sharing wins, growing, and supporting each other as we grow our profitable e-commerce stores. I'll leave a link down below, so go and check it out. I'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to check out our other videos. This one here might be especially useful for you.